everybody, we were able to do it. We got a thousand YouTube subscribers in six months, and I want to thank all of you for that. But our work is not done just yet because I see a lot of our fellow V YouTubers struggling to get to 1000 subscribers. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I got a thousand subscribers on YouTube in six months as a VTuber. Make sure you watch until the end of the video because some of my tips may surprise you. My name is Anubis Lives and I am your VTuber Senpai and on this YouTube channel we upload every Wednesday 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you need any information about VTubing or anything VTubing related, I got you covered. Also, if you happen to like today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos and well, subscribe. To see all my latest and greatest content that may help you down the road, hit that subscribe button. And well, let's get into it. The following tips I'm gonna be giving you is my opinion on how you can grow to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. If you have any other ways or suggestions, please leave me a comment down below so we can grow as a community. So for my first tip today, I'm gonna to suggest to all of you to make searchable content. The reason why we wanna make evergreen content is basically when you are not live, people can still find your YouTube channel and subscribe to it. And some of you are going, aha, I make gaming YouTube videos. Well, unfortunately, my friend, that does not cut it anymore. Unless you do something unique and creative with your gaming YouTube content, it will just blend in with the rest. What I do suggest is that you find yourself a niche. Things like, for example, a special skill you have that you can do as a VTuber or educational content. If you are a singer or a painter, make videos regarding that kind of thing. If you are somebody that can give tips, like for example, how to make a model in Vroid, make educational content like that. Or if you're really good at playing a particular video game, Consider making a video giving tips and tricks on how people can improve their game. Try to make your video a how-to video, something that can be searched upon on YouTube and Google. Because at the end of the day, if you make a headshot compilation, yes, it may get a whole bunch of views in the beginning, but nobody's gonna come back over and over and over looking for your video. Versus if you made a video on how to get headshots in this particular game, well, chances are people are gonna search for it and people will come back to it. Okay, so now that we talked about a niche, another tip that we can use to grow to a thousand subscribers on YouTube as a VTuber is, well, using applications like vidIQ and TubeBuddy. What applications like this show you is what people are searching for and how often, but not only that, where you have a chance to rank in the search. So for example, we're gonna use TubeBuddy. If we go to YouTube and type in how to be a VTuber, what results do we get? What we get is our keyword score on the top right hand side. So if we click here for weighted, we will see what this phrase ranks as. So it's a 32 out of 100. What you typically want, is somewhere in the light green to green. Sometimes you can go with the yellow, but we know that this particular keyword phrase is searched for a lot. Our competition, unfortunately though, is high because it's in the red and our chance of actually ranking for this keyword is actually really, really good if we optimize our video well. Unfortunately, 32 out of 100 is not a very good score, but what in our niche can we do to well get a better score. What you can do is think about questions people may have for VTubing. For example, I thought for a long time, how do we VTube in Discord? So by typing into YouTube on how to connect Luppet to Discord, for example, we see that our competition score is 63 out of 100. So let's click here for our weighted score. We will see that it will be 60 out of 100 for our particular channel. We see that the search volume isn't the best out there, but we see the competition is in the green. We see the optimization is in the green. We should be good to go. And having green like that will give us a better chance to be ranked in search. Yes, it does not get searched a lot, but that's A-OK -okay because the people that do search for it, well, will find us. Though, if you can find a keyword or keyword phrase that's green across the board, definitely use that keyword or keyword phrase as much as possible because it will give you a crap ton of views. But we are not done there yet. There is other ways that we can make our video really, really popular with our keyword and keyword phrases. 
So if we go to our particular video in the video details, we will see that we have a keyword rank score under the tags. Now with the free version of TubeBuddy, you will have access to a few of these, but with the professional version, you can get a lot more. Though you're probably wondering, how do I know what keywords or keyword phrases will actually work for my video? If you look underneath the tags, you'll see tag tools. You got a keyword explorer. You just click the search button on the keyword explorer, type in the particular keyword of your choosing, and you'll see where it will rank in the search for your particular channel. We know that search volume isn't that high, but our competition is fantastic and our optimization strength is fantastic. And searching for keywords that are related to your video can actually help the video discovery very, very well. Though we see here that our particular keyword phrases, we rank number one pretty much for almost all of them. Though, if you go for one keyword, aka Luppet, you'll see that we rank number 20 in the keyword search. Not the really best thing for us, but hey, that's okay. YouTube has said that YouTube tags does not actually help with the search volume of the video. What you wanna do is actually use those particular keywords in your video description in one way or another, and that will actually help with your video's discoverability. If you want more information or more details about TubeBuddy or vidIQ, I highly suggest you check out their YouTube channels Links for those in the description down below. Okay, so another tip on how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube as a VTuber is well covering topics that nobody else will or has. For example, I noticed that nobody was covering what kind of webcams a VTuber should use. So I made a video that did just that. And by making that video and using my knowledge I have for keyword scores and searches, I was able to actually make this video kind of popular. So I know that this video made me 132 subscribers, 9K views, and 304 hours in watch time. So don't be afraid to cover videos or topics that nobody has made yet because you are the one that's gonna pioneer in that. And I guarantee you, somebody is searching for a video just like that because they need the information. So another fantastic tip I can give anybody here is make sure you do a call to action. Now you're wondering to yourself, what is a call to action? Well, what that is, is actually telling your viewers to like and subscribe to your videos. Whether you do it in the beginning, middle, or the end of your YouTube videos and or streams, a call to action is something that can really help your growth because the people that are watching your videos tend to forget or don't even think about liking or subscribing. And by reminding them, the likes will actually help your video rank and search better and subscribing will actually help you get subscribers so you can get extra perks on YouTube. So if you haven't liked or subscribed by now, make sure you do because like I just said, it helps the video and well, helps me out on YouTube. Now, I do wanna thank everybody again for getting me to 1000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you for being with me on this journey. But like I said, we ain't done yet. We got so much to go, we got so much to do. I plan on releasing a lot of free VTubing models for all of our community and free music down the road once the channel makes, well, basically monetization. I'm actually 1.5K off from monetization on this YouTube channel, so if you like this video, feel free to go through my playlist and watch the rest. Oh, my fellow VTubers, I know you guys can get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube as a VTuber. I know you all can make it, and I know you all can strive doing it. So start making those videos, start publishing that content, start putting something out there. Don't forget, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday evening. I would love for you to come on by, say hi. Let's talk about anime, gaming, and VTubing. And well, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.